Time now for Dollars and Cents, where I answer your money questions and help you navigate a changing economy. The 4th of July week is here, and so is the busy summer travel season. Many of you are hitting the road, hopping a flight, or booking hotels. And those trips can get expensive. Should you protect your investment with travel insurance? An expert I talked with says buying some peace of mind with your next vacation could be worth it. Travel insurance can be a really helpful thing in the, in the right situation for the right person. If you've booked a trip online in the past several years, you've likely seen a prompt in the process asking if you want travel insurance. The option can appear in many forms and for a wide range of costs. For example, a button like this near the end of your online flight purchase. Travel websites make it easy to find and add trip protection to your purchase. But take a close look at what the fee gets you and see if that extra cost is worth it to you. Insurance is protection. We may not need to use the protection, but you're purchasing protection and what that is essentially is some peace of mind. To start, understand that travel insurance typically falls into two categories, basic trip cancellation protection and comprehensive travel insurance. Basic protection usually covers things like lost bags, reimbursements if you miss a connection, or a refund if you can't travel because you're hurt or sick. Comprehensive travel insurance usually covers all that plus medical expenses. Whichever you choose, always check the fine print and see if the insurance covers your specific needs. By paying attention to the fine print, you can understand, does this uh, insurance that addresses medical needs as I'm traveling internationally, does it cover a pre-existing condition? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it won't. That's just one example of the kind of questions you should ask yourself. Also keep in mind, if you're booking your trip online, such as hotel, flights, or a rental car, you'll likely be paying with a credit card. So double check to see what kind of insurance coverage your credit card offers. If you're thinking you might need travel insurance or you just wanna feel better about making that big purchase, go look at your credit card agreement or call your credit card company and ask them if there's any type of safety or reimbursement around booking travel. If there isn't and you're still interested in insuring your trip, Paley recommends looking at companies offering insurance and there are many options online. But Paley says you might not want it if you're young, healthy, the trip isn't that expensive and you can afford to lose the cost of the purchase if something were to happen. And make sure that all the stipulations in the insurance contract fit you, your lifestyle, and what you really want out of the insurance. Mm -hmm. A Paley also recommends looking into cruises and seeing what insurance may be included in your package. Remember, travel insurance is mainly about buying peace of mind. Just make sure you read the fine print. And the conversation doesn't end here. Scan the QR code to see all my dollars and cents coverage and send me your money questions. You can also find them on our website, abc10.com. And Chris, another thing that Paley says that everyone should think about, if you have you know, some kind of health insurance already, you're likely covered when you're traveling domestically, but it's really if you're traveling abroad that you'll maybe want to add some or double check that you're covered. Well, this is certainly a timely topic with the <laughs> holiday coming up tomorrow yep. and everyone wanting to hit the roads oh, and yeah. maybe travel this weekend. Mm -hmm. huh?